friends, hello again. This time I'm going to talk about past dependence. Best illustrated with an example. Let's say I have returns a plus one five times and minus one five times. Okay? Returns, variation, applies to a particle, applies to a stock, pseudo running motion. You start at 100. And after 10 steps, you end up at 100. OK? There are three paths, three, you know, at the extremes. One, where you go up and down till you reach 100. Plus one, minus one. OK? No big variation. You go up 100, 101, 100, 101, 100. Or you can go down 99, 100, 99, 100, till you reach 100. OK? The other path is you go up five times, one, two, three, four, five, five times one, plus one, five times, and then go down, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, okay? So you go up to 105, go down. And then finally, the exact opposite, you go down five times, and then up five times. One. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, and then go back up. Okay, now, what's the difference between them? All these have the same uh, mean, the same variance. It's just a mixing, gives you a temporal structure because we're looking over time that is very different. This profile is quite different from that one. And of course, the one in the middle appears to be very stable. These both are unstable. That's past dependence. The sequence matters. And that you don't catch with elementary metrics like mean and variance. Thank you for listening to me, and have a great day. Bye now.